Debate tonight after two men carrying semi automatic weapons attempt to enter the Appleton Farmers Market. Get your hands up. Get on the wall here. This video sparking controversy in the Fox Valley. The two men with the guns were detained by police last weekend. Both say they're within their rights to carry them. NBC26's Brian Miller spoke with one of them today. He joins us live in the newsroom with more on this controversy. Stacey, the two men say they didn't expect guns to be pointed at them or to be cuffed and held by police for 45 minutes. The 911 calls came in around 8 a.m. Saturday. Oh, they gave me 911. A couple guys walking around with what looks like machine guns on their backs. The men carrying a gun like this, an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. Figured we would we would have to talk to the, the police. We, we figured it would be a casual conversation. We, we didn't have any kind of attention. We didn't want to frighten people. We weren't aggressive. There wasn't reasonable cause. Arrest us, put us in uh, handcuffs. The pair parked about six blocks from the farmer's market, and they had made it about three blocks with the rifles strapped to their backs until they were detained by police outside the Radisson Hotel. And while both men insist they didn't do this to gain any attention, at least one city council member is calling it a publicity stunt. The public does not expect in Appleton, Wisconsin, or even in the United States, that people are going to be walking around with assault rifles or with rifles. That's over in the Middle East. That's, the, that's what they're used to. That's not the way that we operate here. The Appleton police released this statement on the incident, quote, after determining the subjects did not intend to harm people, the individuals were allowed to leave. The department considers the issue resolved. Green Bay police say the open carry issue is one officers need to be prepared for. The open carry is very real, and the way officers respond to it is critical because you have to balance officer safety with Second Amendment rights. As for the men who were arrested, they say they hope this case sparks increased awareness for open carry laws. Now, the men would not say if they plan to file a lawsuit against the police department, but they admit they are exploring that option. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Brian Miller, NBC 26.